Hello YouTube viewers and random Ant-Man fans, I'll be checking out this which is the Disney Store exclusive Marvel Select Ant-Man figure and here it is in its packaging. As always the layout of the box is the same with the sidebar which features both the Marvel Select and Ant-Man movie logos. Ant-Man is printed vertically as well as special collector edition action figure below it and we get the Disney Store logo at the bottom. What's weird here is that we just get the Avengers Initiative logo instead of an ant or something in this triangular section. The window is gigantic like all other Marvel Select boxes so while the figure and accessories are displayed really well there's a lot of wasted space. The side features a stylized image of Ant-Man in action with the movie logo and Avengers A insignia below it. Finally the back offers nothing new except for an enlarged image of the figure and no little write-up or anything like that which is a little strange. But anyway that's it for the box so let's open it up and take a look at the figure itself. Okay, so here we have Ant-Man, and I'm really impressed with the detail on here. Looking at the mask alone, the precision sculpting of its various components is just remarkable. You can see the dark red eye lenses, that circular, almost breathing apparatus over the mouth, with the tubes from the ears running down to it. The ears too feature the antennas on the top, and I love how the wires from the back of the suit actually peg into the bottom of the ear sections. That's a great touch. The back of the head has that overlapping metal plate design, while the paint apps on the entirety of the head are just sublime. Moving down to the body, you can see the overlapping sections of the neck, which are brought out well by those silver paint apps. There's a sort of dark grey collar section beneath it, which contains three bright red nodes on it. This sort of metallic exoskeleton design on the shoulders and upper body has been sculpted well, plus you can see the various clasps holding it in place on the figure's back. The design of the actual suit has been wonderfully recreated with the zip running up the middle and the crease and wrinkled material effect, but what really sets it off is the subtle use of paint apps to darken and dirty it around the edges, which gives it a worn and old look. I love that. Again, some great detailing is visible on the arms with a red section on the top of the arm which features another red node on there, while the panels are again defined here by that use of silver which really works tremendously well as does the return of that creased and wrinkled sculpting effect. Those silver collars on each wrist are sculpted sharply with the red sections clearly visible on the inside. The hands are sculpted into clenched fists with some fur detail of his gloves on there while well, you can see that the palms are actually red but there is no button on the side of the fingers. The belt looks excellent, again so much care and attention to detail has been applied here and the result is just fascinating with all the various components and compartments recreated here with stunning clarity. Moving down to the legs, these great paint apps sculpting and crease and wrinkled material effect continues. You can see those red sections on the tops of the legs, the silver lines adding a great design to the trousers here too. While the calves are red, plus you can see more of that great design motif on the shins. While the boots are just black with red tips. And the undersides feature a peg hole on each foot, as well as a ton of legal guff. So overall, when it comes to detail, this is so much better than I thought it was going to be. It looks, frankly, excellent. Turning to articulation, the head can do the full 360 degree exorcist twist, even though it will pull out the wires on the back of the head as a result. The head can also nod up and down, as well as pivot from side to side. The arm can do the full 360 at the shoulder, as well as move out to 90 degrees. The forearm bends into 45 degrees at the elbow, and can pivot forward and back at this joint too. There's a full 360 on the wrist as well as a pivot allowing it to move in and out. There's quite a decent ab crunch on this figure, meaning it can bend forward and back to a wide degree. Plus this also doubles as the figure's waist articulation, meaning it can spin through 360 degrees here as well. The legs kick forward to 45 degrees and move out to the sides by the same amount. There's a full 360 at the top of the leg. A double joint is present on the knee, but even still the leg can only move back to just over 90 degrees. And finally the foot can move forward and back as well as pivot from side to side. So overall, a decent amount of articulation has been included here. Moving on to accessories, and the biggest, or should I say smallest talking point here, is the scaled down version of the figure. This is considerably bigger than the Marvel Legends miniature figure, but as a result it contains so much more detail and precise paint apps. I really love this. For its size, the detail is just excellent. It doesn't feature any articulation, but it has been moulded in a very dynamic action pose, which looks great when on display. The figure also comes with two pairs of alternate hands. The detail and paint apps on these are the same as the clenched fist versions, but the sculpting is a little different. Both come in an open panned pose, with one set in a more relaxed position, while the other set has these outstretched fingers as though he's reaching out or, I don't know, calling to Anthony. Switching the hands is really straightforward, just pull and unpeg the current hands that are in use, then slot the new hand into the peg hole and push it until it pops into the joint. Being a Disney Store exclusive, we get one bonus accessory, which is this, the alternate unmasked head sculpt, which features the likeness of Scott Lang as played by Paul Rudd. And it looks... okay. I mean, 
I can definitely see Paul Rudd in there, with the shape of the eyes and his brow especially, but I don't know, it just looks a little bit off. Again, nice sculpting on the rest of the face with the nose and mouth looking really clear and defined, and I love the use of the paint apps here to give him a sort of 5 o'clock shadow going on there. The hair sculpt is pretty good too, what with that mini sort of quiff on the front and the brush stroke pattern running along the middle of the top. And is it just me, or does it look like he has a massive neck? I'm not sure, but there's something quite disproportionate about it when viewed from certain angles. Doing a quick size comparison, you can see just how much bigger and better detailed this Marvel Select figure is when compared to the Marvel Legends version of the same figure. This also gives you a good look at how much smaller that miniature Ant-Man accessory is when compared to the actual full-size figure. And of course, the size and sculpting means it fits in well with other Marvel Select figures, such as the Falcon. So overall, what do I think of this figure? Well, I'm really impressed by it. When I saw the first images of the prototype, I couldn't help but feel let down, as it looked really dark and was lacking paint apps. I'm so glad that for the final edition, all of my issues with it were fixed. It's got some awesome detail and paint apps, and I'm happy to say that my love of Marvel Select figures remains intact. The articulation is good, but could have been a little bit better, and while I love that smaller Ant-Man accessory, I do wish the figure had come with a base on which to display it, such as a huge chunk of skirting board or something to play around with its size. The alternate hands are a great addition, but it's that exclusive Paul Rudd head sculpt that really sets this apart from other Ant-Man figures. Even though it could look better, I think it's decent enough, and I'd rather have the option to display the figure with or without the mask on. In the end, it's another exceptional figure from Marvel Select, and if you liked Ant-Man in any way at all, I highly recommend picking up this variant of the figure. And so that brings us to the end of this review. I really hope you liked it. If you did and you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe for more videos and keep up to date with all my latest news and reviews by liking my Facebook page and following me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>